Welcome into Fast Five with Jay Walker and Scott Prather. Hey, everybody. Welcome into another edition of Fast Five. And just to show you how fast we're going to go, let's get started. True or false, Saints head coach Sean Payton and GM Mickey Loomis should feel safe about their job. True. I hate to say it, but it's true. Tom Benson is about as loyal a dude as you're ever going to find, and maybe it's one of his drawbacks. Sean Payton won a Super Bowl in 2009. Tom Benson's never going to forget it, and as a result, these guys are good. False. Because oh, how, much, you're right. how much time does Tommy have left? I'm not trying to be all sick and dark or anything, but when Tom Benson goes, maybe some things get shaken up and he's not exactly, you know, healthy as a horse right now. And, and I, don't, I certainly don't wish anything like that on Mr. B, but it's something you got to consider. Battle round, pick a side. Danny Etling is the future at quarterback for the LSU Tigers. Yes. The question is, is he any good? But if you're talking about future this season, clearly Brandon Harris is not the answer. We saw Danny Etling help the LSU beat Jacksonville State. Okay, we don't know how good he is. I'm just looking at the other quarterbacks on the roster, and that's why my answer is yes. Well, my answer is no because I look at the word future, and I'm looking like past this year. Danny Etling may be the only answer if there is one at quarterback for LSU this year, but to suggest that he's the future of this franchise, no. Donkey round. In seven seconds or less, use three words to describe the Raging Cajuns' win over the Cowboys of McNeese State. What a relief. Hey, we said it. You can't lose to this team. They didn't. That was way more than three words, Jay. Necessary. Thorough. <laughs> that was before seven seconds. Moving on. Battle round two. Is C.J. Spiller the biggest free agent mishap of the Peyton and Loomis era? Well, you've had a number of them. Uh, Jason David, Brandon Browner, C.J. Spiller. We'll go with Browner because he did his damage on the field, too. Yeah, there have been too many to count. So I'll say no because there are too many to count. Winner and loser of the week. Loser of the week? How about the MAC officials and the Big 12 replay officials? They couldn't get it right. It cost Oklahoma State a win because the officials choked. And that's what they did. They choked. I had no idea what you were gonna go with with loser. My winner was gonna be anyone who bet on Central Michigan to win straight up because you shouldn't have gotten a big payday, but you did. Honorary winner. I couldn't make him the winner because they didn't win the game, but Coach Tim Rebo and the Nickel State Colonels going to Athens, Georgia, nearly pulling off the upset against the Bulldogs. Honorary winner of the week, and we are done with Fast Five. Done with Fast Five. Love you, Timmy. We'll see you next week.